Hi friends, Ithyria here, and today I want to talk about the power of complaining in Final Fantasy XIV, or I guess more accurately, here on YouTube, on certain forums, etc, etc, but complaints that have to do with the game, since my channel mostly has to do with this game, aside from my one Elden Ring video. Someday I will be a gaming channel. Today is not that day. Anywho, every time I say something negative, critical, talk about things I don't like, I will get at least one comment, sometimes more, of people essentially white knighting for Square Enix. Yoshi, a lot, a lot of it's always like, Yoshi blah blah blah, the dev team. And I get it, I get it, we like these people, most of us like them, but I often feel that the complaints I'm making are not at all disrespectful, but I still get these comments of people that are acting like I shouldn't be voicing my complaints at all. And the reasoning they often give is stuff like, well, they already said they wouldn't do that. For instance, we're gonna use we're gonna use Island Sanctuary here because I just posted a video about it and I posted I posted two videos about it. So my first video, I got a lot of comments where they were like, especially about the decorations, they were like, um, they explained several times in many live letters that this is not housing and this is not going to be like housing. So basically shut the fuck up. That was the vibe I was getting from some of these comments. And I don't know if they were like offended by the fact that I said that, I don't even remember what I freaking said in that video. I just remember saying that I wanted decorations. And I remember getting like two or three comments of people that were like, this is not housing. And there was this whole like string of comments of like, I replied to somebody and then like two people were like replying to me in those comments, like arguing how I shouldn't have talked about the housing stuff or that I don't listen or that I'm incapable of comprehending the fact that they apparently weren't ever meaning for Island Sanctuary to be like housing. So I should not have suggested that they put outdoor furnishings, but the cool thing about Final Fantasy XIV is that the dev team actually listens sometimes. I would say they listen quite often compared to any other game I have ever played, and I have played pretty much only MMOs growing up and until now. Like, I have- I'm an MMO veteran here. And normally, the dev team is like super disconnected from the player base. They don't listen at all to what we want. But that's not the case for 14. They actually do seem to listen. I feel like I've seen multiple cases where the where the community has been like, this isn't working for us. And the dev team is like, okay, we will do our best. And they do. And it's really, really awesome. So the idea that I shouldn't say anything is so silly. Like it makes no sense. I get it. When the dev team comes out with a certain type of content, especially if they say ahead of time, it's not going to be like this or this. I get that saying, no, we should make it like this can sometimes be, I don't know what the word is here, but maybe not disrespectful, but just, it does, does feel like maybe we're ignoring something. Like, they purposely said for a reason that it's not going to be a certain way. So maybe there is some sort of difficulty with programming and coding that. So maybe the word is insensitive. Maybe it might seem insensitive to then talk about these things. But what I find with Final Fantasy XIV and our, our dev team and Yoshi and whatnot is that if we have the community overwhelmingly supporting a certain thing, even if they said they won't do it, they will do it. And that's the smart of them. Instead of acting childish and saying stuff like, we're the dev team, we said we won't do it, we're not doing it. It's not a battle, it's not a fight. We're not fighting with the dev team, okay? They're not fighting with us. They're so smart. And the reason I say that they're smart is because this is a business and we are the customers. We are the people playing the game and paying them with our hard earned cash. So if we are paying for something, I'm not saying that the customer is always right is like a really good mantra because some Sometimes people make really unreasonable demands, but I think that they recognize that we are their clients and because of that, they should essentially try to deliver whatever can realistically be delivered to us that we want. So we make these demands and some of them, they are like, okay, we just 
we don't have the ability to do that, but we'll work on creating a system that maybe can, or in some cases, maybe they absolutely just can't do it. But whenever they can do something, they actually work on it, which is just so admirable, not only because it feels like they care about the player base and the community, but also because like I said, from a business standpoint, that makes sense. They're trying to keep their clients their clients. So I don't understand why anybody ever thinks that we shouldn't open our mouths and voice our opinions and voice these complaints. Voice the things that we don't like or the things that we want to see changed. Because first of all, how will they know? If we all keep quiet and just accept things the way that they are, how will they ever know what we actually want from the game, what we are dissatisfied with? Because again, this is like a, a customer business relationship. How will they know? And another thing is, why is it a bad thing to want to change something? Why is that bad? I, I don't understand because we can make the game better together. As long as we make our complaints, our, our criticism respectful, then I don't think it's a problem to say something negative about the game. Do we need to drag the dev team and Yoshi and SE and whatnot through the dirt? Absolutely not. If you are playing this game and you genuinely like it and you can recognize that the dev team does actually work on stuff that we want to see. I mean, remember when they said they weren't going to give us Bunny Boy and then they gave us Bunny Boy? Like, they listen and they it seems like they really do want us to enjoy this game. So yeah, I do think it is important to recognize that the dev team and Yoshi are putting a lot of hard work into the game and this is like their creation. This is like their baby. Imagine if you wrote a book or even you were a video creator on YouTube. Whenever somebody says something negative, that can hurt. But it also really depends on the way that they say it. Because like I said, you can say something constructively. You can say it respectfully. And so I think that that is the most important thing when lodging a complaint is just to be respectful, be kind about it. You can voice your opinions. You can voice them even if they are negative. Even if you really dislike something, you say, oh my gosh, the current range DPS tax is just not acceptable, whatever. You can talk about this without being like a ranty little negative little toxic little bitch, right? Like you can do that. That way you are able to get across your opinion and the dev team is able to see what the community is thinking, what needs to be changed, because they are not gods. They are not perfect. They do their best to create this game for us, to create new content, but sometimes things fall flat, sometimes things fall short. They do their best, and that's what's important, and we can help them with that by complaining. So, that's the power of complaining. Say what you want to say, be respectful, but say what you want to say. So basically, this video was just to say to you two or three white knights in the comments of my first Island Sanctuary video that they said in the recent live letter that they are going to be doing their best to add outdoor furnishings to Island Sanctuary. I was right, you were wrong, and I'm going to keep complaining. As always, please remember to leave a sacrifice for Lord Algorithm in the form of a like, comment, share, or subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!